What's going on YouTube? Back to another video. Today, we are finally putting the SSD in the Power Mac T5. I have the SSD hooked up to an external USB enclosure right here. And uh, if you can barely see that, I've got my enclosure up and running. And now, we are finally going to be able to put Mac OS Leopard on the G5. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started by making my USB, USB drive, which is going to be the actual SSD itself, uh, and I'm going to kind of talk you through the process of what I'm doing and what's going on. So, first things first, I have to hook up my USB drive, which is actually not. Alright, first things first is I am going to go ahead and erase my SSD. So I'm going to go here, click Erase, GUID Partition Table, or Map, whatever, Mac OS Extended Journaled. I'm just going to call it SSD for right now. And that's going to do its thing. All right, so that's done. Now I'm going to go ahead and partition this into two. And I'm actually going to name the small one. I'm going to put about probably like 10, 16 gigs probably work just fine. I'm going to name that USB. All right. Yes. Let it do its thing. And that's going to partition the drive. And the, of course, the USB partition will be used to house our Mac OS 10.5 installation, and the SSD will be used to install it. So, now, I think I have to restore the Mac OS drive onto the... Yeah, I have to install the Mac OS 10.5 installed DVD onto the USB. So, I'm going to click Restore. And it's going to restore from the install DVD. And now it should just be able to click restore. And that may take however long it wants to. Um, this is a pretty quick, um, this is pretty much all solid state storage. So it should be pretty quick. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this probably. And I'll come back to you when it's done. All right, so. Here is the finished product. We have two partitions. One is the Mac OS installed DVD and one is the actual part we're going to install it on. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because one, I don't have a dual layer DVD and uh, you know I can't burn it. Number two, um, PowerPC Macs really don't boot from USB drive. I'm going to have to do it internally. So, you know, I'm on my Mac Pro right now, getting everything good to go. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop over to the G5, install it, and see if we can't get it to boot. Alrighty guys, so we are back in the G5 as you can see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eject my SSD and see if we can get this thing to boot. So, the um, process is pretty straightforward. I'm just waiting for my USB to, or my SSD to eject, but the process is pretty straightforward. You just slap it in, hold down option key, and we should be golden. So. I'm um, just waiting for it to eject if it ever does eject. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and force eject it, whatever. Alright, so, I'm pretty sure this just slides into place. Like so. Alrighty guys, got the flash on because it was getting a little dark in here. But, as you can see, I have the SSD all in place. Um, I have the old hard drive out. It was a 250 gigabytes, 7200 RPM. Hard drive, about to see if this thing boots up. Gonna hook it up to the main setup. I'm gonna hook up my keyboard and mouse and let's see if this thing works. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if this works. Holding down the option key. All right, we got a, must be a boot screen. Mouse is working, keyboard detected obviously. And it should detect the uh, installer. It's thinking. Hmm, not detecting anything. Let me see here. Can't refresh. Hmm, let's see here. Let's try this again, see what happens. This time just let it boot up by itself. Mm. 
Interesting. Well, that didn't work. I'm going to try to see if I can't switch out the um, ports that it's on and see if we can't get it to work. Alrighty, attempt number two. Nothing again. That's odd. Um, I'm gonna do some digging and see if I can't find out what the issue is. Alright, so, I found out what I did wrong. Um, it's not supposed to be, um, GUID partition table. It's supposed to be Apple partition map, I think. Um, either one of those. I think it was Apple partition map. Yeah, I believe it was Apple partition map what it was supposed to be, not GUID. So, um, I'll go ahead and fix that. I'm restoring it back from the USB now. I'm going to go ahead and throw it back in once this is done and see if it works. And it should work. Fingers crossed. We are finally back in front of the uh, G5. Got the SSD back in, formatted correctly. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right, look at that, right away. So, let's go ahead and boot into it. Let's finish this loading, that is. Any day now. All right. And looks like it's gonna go ahead and boot into the Mac OS 10.5 USB, in, or not USB, but the Mac OS 10.5 disc. And it should be fairly quick since it's booting off an SSD, so. All right, looks like we're booting into it already. All right, look at that, Mac OS 10.5. This is a very, very good site. All right, pretty sure we can just head over to utilities and just for good measure, erase the SSD one more time, or at least this partition. Go ahead and call it Macintosh SSD. Erase that. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and exit out of disk utility. Continue. Agree. Act SSD. Uh, let's go ahead and customize it. We don't want the fonts or the language trans translations or the printer drivers. We just we can leave X11, that's whatever. Go ahead and continue and install. And let's go ahead and uh, see how long this takes, if it doesn't fail. And uh, this should work just fine. So what, what I'm going to do is go ahead and pause the video, and when it's finished, I'll just come back. Alrighty, guys, so we are almost done installing. It literally took like five minutes. It's crazy um, what an SSD can do in these machines. But almost done. Um, got less than a minute remaining. going to go ahead and wait for it to do something. Which it should be. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and restart. And see what she does. All right. Image, look at that. We have a welcome video. Turn the volume up on that. Wow. I have completely forgot about the welcome videos on Mac OS. That is crazy.
있고 Of course not It is just a regular United States keyboard US Continue Do not transfer any information right now Um those are not my networks. This Wi-Fi card is pretty much junk, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with uh, continue with that. Oh man, registration information. We can go ahead and skip that. So I'm gonna go ahead and create my account, and once this finishes up, I will be back. All right. And there's our beautiful. Mac OS 10.5 desktop. We'll go ahead and play around here and see if we can't what we can find. Let me see here. Awesome. So if I go to about this Mac, we can see. Oh, it's so sensitive. There are our specs, dual 2.7 gigahertz power PC G5. That's right. 8 gigabytes of DDR, or I say DDR4, 8 gigs of DDR RAM, Mac OS 10.5.4, definitely have to update that, but yeah guys, we have Mac OS installed on the G5, I mean that's pretty much it, um, I really just wanted to get it working, um, oh, recognize my network, Probably not going to connect, yeah, it's okay. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. We got everything all up to date. Next video, going to go ahead and install some software, get this thing usable, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, definitely look forward to more content like this in the future, and I'll see you later.